Hey, 007, this must be malicious. You know me. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, since Dorian said, and Dorian Benz, if you don't know about Malaya Davis, the five-year-old that's missing, has been missing since April the 30th, mm-hmm. despite what you've been hearing, I said April the 30th. Yeah, I want to know who actually murdered this baby. Yes, I'm worried about that. And some crossed my mind as I was listening to the interview. Mm -hmm. Did Malaya's baby brother, one-year-old brother, witness her death and was present the entire time? That's what I said. Something for you guys to think about. Listen to the video. Her parents failed her. CPS failed her. They the all failed, failed her. her. I um, said that. That, that. that so many people in her life failed her, and that, that is that is why you know her, her body was tossed on the side of the road. Um, these are just really emotionally charged comments, because this is an emotionally charged story. Um, you see this little four-year-old girl's face, and uh, you would hate for anyone to have to go through this, uh, what she has seen in her four years on this earth. It's, uh, it's, it's something that has tugged at our heartstrings. And so we thank you, like Russ was saying, thank you for, for helping us keep this in the headlines. Thank you for your concern, for your comments, for your questions, because so many people around the country were following this case of Malia Davis. And we're staying with you here this afternoon on all of our digital channels, not just Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube. Uh, you can watch us on uh, Twitter as well, uh, live here on our Facebook page, khou.com. And we're, we're staying here this afternoon here in the newsroom watching all this, answering your questions. We're waiting and hoping that we'll get some information here soon out of Hempstead County, Arkansas. That as those eight deputies drive along the side of Interstate 30, slowly along the shoulder, looking for a, for a black garbage bag, that, they, that they're able to spot something and, and get, get us the information that that they have found, found Malia's body. So uh, we're hoping to bring some closure to this this afternoon. We don't know if we can, but, but that's what we're hoping for. A lot of people also wondering uh, why Hope, Arkansas. We still don't know the connection. Uh, if Darian Vince knows people in the area or has a connection in the area, right now what we are thinking about is the fact that he does have family in St. Louis and believe he had a, a custody um uh, he's another child, child up there. Uh, he's another child in St. Louis and had custody issues up there. Um, and so what a it's very mistress he is. He has made that drive from Houston to St. Louis and gone through the Arkansas area. Uh, and so that this may be not a place that he necessarily has a connection to, but an area that he is familiar with. So that it, is why they're looking in the area. You know, one thing, one thing we haven't talked about either is when, when Darian Vince gave authorities this story mm -hmm. in early May, or early, early this month, he talked about getting a flat tire on the way to Bush Airport. Listen. Assaulted, knocked out, the, the baby, you know, Malia kidnapped. He had a one-year-old son with him as well. And he says he woke up the next day in Sugar Land with the one-year-old boy. He was watching that one-year-old boy. Did that one-year-old boy make that trip to Arkansas, Arkansas as well? Yeah. I mean, if, if that's what he did and where he went, did he drop that baby off somewhere else? Don't know, but I, we do know that they now, are you guys, you start sounding off. I would like to know your opinion. Click, like, and subscribe. Don't forget the bell button.